Good morning. My name is Hoyt Bangs and I'm with Waterwise Garden Design. And today I'm talking to Triangle Gardener. And what we are speaking of specifically is water and erosion problems. The issue in this vicinity is not that unordinary among most homeowners. What we have is a downspout, we have an extreme slope, and we have water issues in this general vicinity because the house, being solid natural, picks up all the water in the gutters and ends up depositing it in one specific place. With that, we get erosion through this area of the landscape and the mulch, the plant, even the gravel to a degree that was put under the deck to help hold down on the erosion problems, all are going to suffer to some degree relative to the issue. As a solution, we could talk about various ways of coming to a better solution as to what the uh, amount of water coming through any one area would, would possibly be diverted or it could be in a way utilized as a natural feature. One idea would be to use rock or stone along the top of the ground and create a natural dry rock stream bed that could be also included with various plants. You could divert the water into various areas where you might need the water and certainly you could utilize plants that really love that additional water in that area. Also plants that have good root systems and would adapt to this area. This is a north facing slope, so because of that it's going to be much wetter. It won't have the sunlight hitting this area and therefore the water problems could even be more significant. There are terracing walls here that do help somewhat and by adding additional terrace walls that could be another benefit. One way you could get rid of the water all at one time would be obviously to create a catch basin that would take all of the water from this one location and distribute it with the corrugated lines all throughout the garden to where you might specifically need the water. This part of the yard we have another serious drainage problem because at this location we are right next to the road, right on the corner as a matter of fact. Now, the typical approach to getting rid of the water in this area is to build a large swale, but underneath the driveway, you're going to concentrate the water in this uh, pipe that comes underneath the driveway. Now, one thing you're going to have to be concerned about in this type of area is the erosion that is going to occur in the natural area where we have turf and certainly with the volume of water that is going to come in off the road, this can be a fairly significant amount of water. One thing you'd like to do is try to break the water, try to break up the flow of the water and by utilizing stones at the point where the water comes out of the, the pipe right here, we can use stones, rounded stones, natural looking stones, that will both aesthetically give you a good look and also do the job of breaking up the flow of the water so it does not concentrate itself in one large rivulet through the center of this drainage area. So that is where we're going to get some new stone. We have a different size rock now that we're going to add. This is a river rock, and we have already placed the large river rock, but within the area between the pipe and where we have put the outer layer of rocks, we want to use a larger rock because we don't want the gravel flowing through this area. So simply by taking these stones, placing them in the location where we have created, in essence, a drainage pit per se, we can cover this area with the river stone and it will certainly have a much nicer look as well as help control the erosion through this area in a better manner. The rock that you select is going to be purchased from any one of a number of locations in the triangle. There certainly are the large rock companies that will have great selections, but also garden centers have rocks. And you want to be certain to get a size of rock that you're going to place near the drainage area and you don't want that 
the wash coming through and moving that rock down the hill. So again, be certain to purchase the correct rock. And again, there are many locations in the triangle where you can pick these up. There are a lot of different drainage issues and water problems that are going to occur in the landscape. And if you're concerned about where the water problem is originating, one of the best things to do is to walk outside during a heavy rain with your umbrella and trace where the water is coming from. So then you can obviously have better information to make your final decision. Again, my name is Hoyt Bangs. I'm with WaterWise Garden Design, and I'm here with Triangle Gardener today. Have a great day.